hey, you know what? I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to set you up with my sister. Is your sister hot? Hey, dude, don't talk about my sister like that. You know you're trying to hook me up with your sister, right? I need information! Shh, dude, I think she's coming. Hey, guys! So, um, what do you think? Hmm... No, not my sister! Hey guys, welcome back to Super Important Views. My name's Steve, and today we got a bit of a treat for you guys. We're going to be reviewing the Bandai Tomashi Nation SH Monster Arts Bailente. And this is a figure I've been wanting to do forever, but with the figure coming out prior to the birth of our channel, just never really had a good time to actually do a review of it, and I figured with it being Halloween and spooky times, why the hell not? Bailente is definitely my favorite Godzilla monster of them all, except for Godzilla. You can't really touch him, but next second best is definitely Biolante. Really love the movie, and if you guys haven't seen Godzilla vs. Biolante, it's from 1989, I do believe. It's a really awesome movie, and how Biolante is born from the film is that uh, Dr. Shinigami's daughter gets killed in the film, which uh, then he tries for a great idea, decides to merge her cells, which is her name's Erica, with a cell of a rose to try to keep her alive in some way, because she really loved roses, so I figured get her soul into the rose. And when that doesn't work, why not add some Godzilla cells and see what happens, and this is what happens. Beautifulness. Terrifying beautifulness. And this movie's really good, the suits are awesome in the film, so you really should go check it out. But, let's get into the figures, but first we gotta get to the packaging, so for the packaging, it's freaking ginormous. Like, this thing just takes up a lot of real estate on the shelf if you want to keep the box. But it does look really good, even without the clear plastic to show the figure on the inside. But it has a really nice image of the figure on the front with this nice smoke effect going across the packaging. Really sweet. For the side of the packaging, just has this vine here with Biolante on the side. For the other side of the packaging, just has a nice black and white image of Biolante with her name on the bottom. For the top of the packaging, just has Biolante here. For the bottom of the packaging, just a bunch of Lego Mumbo Jumbo. So for the back of the packaging, over here, I'm not exactly sure what it says, but I'm assuming it's some kind of bio for the character. Has some figure in really nice poses on the back, and also has it with a little bit of like the battle scene down here with the SH Monsters Heisey's Godzilla. And also over here, it shows you the light-up gimmick, which I'll go over you guys for a little bit. And that's pretty much it for the box. Let's get her open up out of her cardboard prison. So now here she is out of her cardboard prison, and initially when I got her, I was just an awe of how amazing she looks like this thing's beautiful overall the details on it are amazing and before we officially get into the details i'm going to go over the gimmick for you guys real quick which for her sack here you can see it has a really nice orange to it and what's even better is this thing actually lights up and coming down to the bottom here you can see here there's a switch and it also comes with the battery so you don't have to worry about messing around with that but when you turn the switch to the right to the one notch. It's kind of hard to see, so flick it back and forth for you guys. The one, uh, the one notch glows yellow, and then when you take it over to the left with the two notches, it glows this nice red. And I'll turn off the lights real quick just so you guys can get a better look at it. So here she is with the red glow, which looks really menacing. And overall, this is my preferred version. And then flicking the switch down here just so you guys can see the yellow glow which is more of like the normal state, which also looks really nice. And it's a really nice accessory for her to have. Pretty happy with that, even though it would have been sweet to maybe have some kind of acidic spray effect or something, but that works really well for me. So I'll bring it in for a closer look, just so you guys can see all the nice details on it. Overall, really love the head sculpt on Biolante. Has this very nice crocodilian look to it. Really love the pupil's eyes with the white paint job. Really piercing. Really love all the way that turned out. Especially with the mouth here, with all these teeth being individually sculpted. Get it open just so you guys see a better look. Then this more bone color with like this uh, more like tan kind of ivory kind of look to it. Which looks really nice and then you can see here at the roof of a mouth too. Looks really menacing and very accurate to how she looks in the film. Looks really sweet. It even has the tusk on the side here. With have the same kind of ivory look to it with the black accents at the top. Really sweet. And overall for her entire body, she has this dark green paint job with little splotches of a lighter green on it, which look really nice. Really helps to give her some character on your shelf instead of just being 
one solid green. It just gives you a bunch of variety to look at, which is really nice. Also, I really love the plant-like dorsal fins that come along the back here. Each of those are all individually sculpted and look amazing. Even looking back here, you can just see all the work that was put into this figure, which is just a testament to how good the Monster Arts figure line is. And then you can see here for the side of the body here with the rose thorns sticking out of it. Looks really sweet. Especially with the details for the sack, like all these kind of look like a, like a root section coming along the sack here. It looks really nice. Especially up here too for the neck. Which is, to me, is probably the ugliest looking part of the figure. It's mainly here just to help cover up the sections for when you are articulating here. And you can see here, there's just kind of not a lot going on in there. But when you have her head down, you just kind of tuck it up just to help hide the gapping. And then when you move her head up, you just flip it up. Again, helps to hide the gapping. And it's just one of them kind of like necessary evils. It's not too bad, it's just she has a little bit of gapping right here, which is a little bit of an eyesore, but that's probably my only real naysay on the entire figure. And then for her base, again, it has this nice kind of like tree kind of look to it. And then it has the rose thorn sticking out here as well. And then you can see it coming around for the rest of the body. Overall, just the amount of detail on this figure just always baffled me. Just how much work they had to put into this just to get each of these little sections like right here. And there's even more of the rose thorns here on the appendages. And then just for the tentacles too, like they each are, look awesome. Where they have the same kind of green, but it's more of like the wash or for the light green coming up it. And then more little thorns up here. And then even has like little extra little appendages from the plant coming off of here. And then the mouths here too have that nice kind of ivory to the teeth here, if I can get the focus better. And then even on the insides of the mouth, you can see that it has its own little tongue, and it has this nice kind of flesh red to it, which is really nice. And then each of these other mouths also, as you can see here, each have their own little individual sculpts to it, look really nice. And I'm glad that they gave us four of them. And another thing that would have been kind of nice for another accessory option for this figure, Maybe it would have been to have just some little vines on a base coming up. Which would have been nice and maybe something that they could incorporate with the Biolente larva, which would be awesome. Kind of waiting. I hope they make that figure. And I wanted to have the little sound effect where it's like, like that'd be awesome. But for the entire figure, it's actually very solid for all the articulation that it has, which I'll go over in just a second. With that being the only real ugliness in the entire thing, and if you look at it, Kind of from the top, you can see it's still kind of there, but you're not gonna really be looking at her from that angle too much. So overall, in the terms of design and detail, I think this figure turned out superb. All right, so to get into articulation, her head can look up about that far. I'm just to turn it sideways so you guys can get a little better look. Looks up about that far, which also, this part can move up and down just to help cover in the gapping when you're articulating the head. So that's a really nice addition to the figure. Really nice touch to that. She can look down about yay far. And then for head, she can look right about that far. Left about yay far. For her mouth, can move up and down. Nice range of motions, um, num num nums. Then again, this part has some articulation to it. And then more or less for the rest of it, each of these little limbs can move back and forth. So that's actually really sweet. And each one of these are individually can move. So that's really cool. So if you want it really spread out or really close together, you got options. And then for each of these tentacles, they're all on their own ball joints. So they each have their own individual posability, which is really awesome. And you can see here that each of these little segments are where the articulation's at. So a lot of posability with each of these tentacles, so that's really nice. And then the mouse can all move up and down on each one of these. Also can rotate, pretty much do whatever you want with these vines. So overall the articulation for how massive of a figure this is, it's not really as complicated as say some of the other SH Monsters figures in the line, but it's very effective with her.
So for some quick comparisons, here's Biollante compared next to the NECA's 1994 Godzilla, which actually doesn't look all that bad to me. And here she is with the SH Monster Arts Heisey's Godzilla. And here she is with the NECA's Godzilla 2014, which I still think this needs to be a movie too. And just to show off the size a little better, here she is compared next to the larger SH Monster Arts Kaijus in my collection, the Destroyer and King Ghidorah. And here she is compared next to NECA's Battle Damage Gypsy Danger, which might be the wrong scale, but who really cares? So overall, a Biollante, it's not much of a shocker that I love this figure. Her overall amount of detail is amazing, the articulation is awesome, and what really is a good selling point for this figure, at least for me anyways, is her overall uniqueness as a kaiju, with her being very plant-based and not having legs and arms and whatnot. She really stands out in my collection, and with her overall size and just being a very large action figure, she makes a very good centerpiece and really works well with all the other SH Monster Arts line. Especially with the Godzilla, like, they are just meant to be together for me anyways. And with her price tag of being $230, at least for what I see on Amazon, and if you can find her cheaper by all means, I personally think it's worth it. With her overall size, she's definitely the biggest of the SH Monster Arts figures. Definitely has a lot of heft to it. And overall, especially comparing it with, like, King Ghidorah and Destroya, she definitely seems at the right price. So if you guys are a big fan of the Godzilla vs. Biollante movie, or just Godzilla in general and you can afford it, I think this is a must-have for everyone's collection. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like Biollante? Do you think she should be in Godzilla too? Or you guys just hate thorns? Please let us know in the comments. We'll have closer pictures on Facebook if you want to click the link description below. Please don't be afraid to share this video around, and if you like this and want to see more stuff like this, please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.